I used to play football in high school. I was pretty good, too. Is this like the nerd table or something? <laughs> Ma, everyone hates me. Curtis, I need your help. It's about your niece Jasmine. What's wrong with her? I really need somebody to hang out with her. I don't even like kids. Don't you know she's still waiting on her no good daddy to show up? Go get Dr. Phil or the dog whisperer. Who are you here for? Jasmine Plum. Would you like to tell the kids what you do? You know, I did all kind of entrepreneurial endeavors. He sold makeup. <laughs> it wasn't makeup. It was beautification products. <laughs> you gonna talk to me or what? Ah, Jasmine, come me that ball. Come on, girl, throw it. Do you know what a down and out is? You? Okay. Jeanette Aang with Black Tree Media. Black Tree. Black Tree. Speed. Okay. How are you? All right, how you doing? I just want to say, first of all, not because I'm being paid to say it, I really, really liked the movie. Good. good it was great. Thank well you. done from beginning to end. I have no criticism. Now, I know that it meant a lot to you guys. It was meant to be inspirational, and there was, you know, more than just entertainment value to it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it accomplished that? Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's about football, but that's really just a backdrop to uh, these two people who need each other and uh, find each other and through football, they kind of get their self-esteem back and get they, you know, get their world back in a way. And uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a great movie on that level too. Okay. And um, I know your character, Curtis, was the one that encouraged um, Jasmine to take on football. If it wasn't for you, she would have been much safer. <laughs> 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 so in real life though, would you do that, or would you encourage women to play in male sports? Yeah, I mean, if, if they have the skills, of course, why not? Uh, and, you know, you know, football's a tough game, so you got to, you know, you like being tough, and why not? Why so not? you would be okay with if your daughter wanted to play football? <laughs> I, I, I'd make sure she want to play, but I, I definitely support her in anything she want to do. Wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the hot seat. Not, not wrestling? wrestling nah. My daughter wants to wrestle. I'd be like, with girls. <laughs> right. Wrestle with girls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the quarterback is different, right? Yeah. You get to quarterback be... is definitely different, especially because it's, she's protected. Um, the role, you know, a girl being protected and, you know, calling a lot of the shots. So I that definitely if I want if my daughter wanted to play football, I'd definitely be get glad if she played the quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the brains too, yeah. not just brawn. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you use that when you Snuck him in the balls with the football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Oh! That's all right, Jasmine. Shake it off. Hold it! Hey! Hey. We're doing it on purpose. I ain't even blocking. This time I'm gonna knock her out of her training bro. Run on time! Hey, hey! She ain't the only girl on the team now. And tell me about training for that, because you really had to physically train. I had never played football or, you know, been in anything like that, really. So I just came in there open-minded, you know, ready to learn. And uh, my coach, Pastor Jenny, he's an amazing coach, very supportive. He taught me the mechanics. And I just started to throw, started to get in the groove. And, you know, it was like an everyday thing. It was, it felt normal for me. Even when I came back and did a little bit more, I, it, it was, it, I still will never forget how to do it because he taught me the mechanics. And I love it. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Did you play football before that? Or did you even know how to throw the ball and stuff like that? I didn't know how to throw. I, whenever I threw a football, like I, I'm sure I've thrown a football way before then, but whenever I threw it, over, I overthrow, you know, I didn't have any, uh, I wasn't very controlled with my arm or anything like that. So Pastor didn't really help me with that. Okay. Look, you want to be a quarterback, you got to learn how to hit multiple receivers. Right here, receiver number one, Beyonce. Over here, receiver number two. Foxy Brand, and my personal favorite, receiver number three, Ty Banks. Right, don't forget what I told you. Set your feet, hit Beyonce. Hey! Woo! I'm gonna go out for a pattern, all right? You gotta learn how to hit a moving target, okay? You're ready to hit me now, all right? You gotta go. Beyonce! Woo! Good, girl. You might be my niece after all. 
Okay. I know that the real um, Jasmine, she could throw like 65 yards. Yes, yeah, she can. Can you guys rival her? You used to play, and now you can play. I could throw about 40 and 40 yards. And you? Yeah, yeah I, I could chuck. Yeah, I could chuck yeah, yeah. a free <laughs> <laughs> How was it like being on set with each other? It was real good. You I know. hated it. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, we had fun. Uh, it was easy money. Easy money. I'm all for that. Thank you very much. Thank you.